a new adaptive approach. Youth in Action taking the initiative to promote fitness for youth with special and physical needs. Athlete Iris Vesiana opened up her own fitness center that encourages an inclusive environment, helping those with physical needs improve mobility. The network Samantha Morell reports from Three Lakes. Iris Vesiana has been an athlete her whole life. From rock climbing to weightlifting to gymnastics and CrossFit, she does it all. But when she's not working out, she's helping those who may need a little extra push. Youth in Action is Iris's creation. Located in Three Lakes, just next to Tan Miami Airport, it is an adaptive fitness center catered to help people with special needs. Her goal? To change the way people perceive those with disabilities, and also the way people with disabilities perceive themselves. They adapt the workouts and then they're able to do the same exact workout as everyone else. So it's just pretty much to like prove people wrong and like what they think about, like how they see, you know, kids or adults with special needs. Being an athlete herself and using that knowledge, Iris came up with a unique approach to help those with disabilities. After working at another therapy center, she began to incorporate CrossFit workouts into everyday treatments. Now, with that adaptive mindset, there isn't a client she won't accept. You know, and I know how important it is too, because for me, just working out, that's therapy. So imagine for them, you know, it's not only therapy, but you're also targeting so many different other things, you know, attention, following instructions, uh, motor planning skills, overall body strength, endurance, um, and self-confidence is a big one, and social skills even. And besides the adaptive fitness trainers that could be seen at the gym on a day-to-day -day basis, Iris has partnered up with occupational therapists and physical therapists that can treat clients' specific needs. I think it's great. I always tell her, like, I can't thank her enough for creating this type of environment because it really is just, she just wanted to create a space that was inclusive of everyone. She's also someone that's very diligent about, like, staying up on research, and she's, like, very big on getting creative. So it's not like, oh, no, we're not going to take this kid. They're too much, or, like, we don't have the right equipment for it. Prices start at $130 a month, but Iris says for her, it isn't about the money. It's about seeing progress. Kids or adults that have been told by doctors like, hey, this is it, like you've reached your limit, there's no going further than this, and then they come to us and then we prove them wrong. And you see them improve in so many different ways that you know, other people have told them was impossible. And this is only the beginning. After about five years of seeing steady growth within her business, Iris has plans of expanding. In the meantime, you can find her and the friends she's made at the corner of Southwest 133rd Court and 131st Street, where hard work and commitment meet compassion and community.